I'm certain you will be, just like every other new comic day. Not this time! Rocket thrusters! I am so sorry! Let me assist you! Who are you? My name is Paul the Telephone. You like Humongous Man also? Not just like, I'm his biggest fan! I find that very difficult to believe, because his biggest fan is definitely me. And do not think you can beat me in that contest. What contest? Hey, Humongous Man fans, it's the first ever time to be a hero mega challenge. It's your once-in-a-lifetime chance to win a day with Mr. Humongous Man himself, reclusive comic creator, Johan Flegelberger. So enter now. The time to be a hero has arrived. Hugo, I know every Humongous Man issue backwards. I'm entering, and I'm gonna win, no matter what that weird kid thinks. The hook has been took. This time tomorrow, Ace McDougal will deliver himself directly into our clutches. So be ready. On it, Mumsy! <laughs> now, which is classier? The fuchsia? Or the green with the glitter trim? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my chair! My sincerest apologies. I was not informed this was already a sign. Good morning, class! So you've met our new exchange student. Rock on up here and introduce yourself. And ooh -hoo! Thank you. I am a noob, a fun-loving Capricorn who enjoys skateboarding, comics, and meeting people. Look, colored braces! This new kid is cool! <laughs> I'm just not seeing it. Oh, no, give me tough ones! If I'm gonna win, I gotta really know my stuff! Okay, how did Humongous Man defeat the anti-matter androids from Andromeda? Oh, yeah, nice! Uh, don't tell me. Uh, how did the H-Man stop me? I can help! He short-circuited them with peanut butter in issue 18. Oh, he's starting to get on my nerves! How's your new skateboard trick going? It's taken months, but I finally nailed it! The forward frontside turbo twist with quadruple flip finish! Check it out! Huh? A forward frontside turbo twist with double, triple, quadruple flip finish! Yay! You go, time to train! Who are Diminutive Dude's parents and what's the name of their cat? George and Mary Cooper and Bobo! When did Mutation Stein booby trap the cape of humongosity and why? Ah, issue 98! Cause no one remembered his birthday! Ah! And when is Humongous Man's birthday? Look, June 10th! What color is Mutation Stein's blood? Trick question. Bleeds <laughs> electricity. Yeah! Welcome to the first annual Time to Be a Hero Mega Challenge! <laughs> Tonight we will find the fittest, smartest, most humongous fan to meet comic book creator, the legendary Johan Fliegelberger himself! <laughs> Yeah. Round one, a combination trivia quiz and dodgeball. 
How many times has Humongous Man kissed Tara Toff? And in which issues? How many tires on the first human? When did Mutation Stein booby trap the two argumentative dudes' parents? What color is Mutation Stein's blood? Ah! Let's <laughs> down to Anoop and Ace McDougal. Ace, your question is, what color is Humongous Man's suit? Huh? Red, of course. <laughs> and now Anoop. What did Humongous Man use to defeat the antimatter android army from Andrew? Peanut butter. So close! But the correct answer is tomato ketchup, which means Ace wins! I know what you're thinking, but you deserve to beat that low-tech braces boy. Congratulations and thank you for a most enjoyable challenge. <sighs> Wait! Anoop was right! It was peanut butter! Check issue number 18! Oh, very well. It's a draw. We are both going to meet our idol. Oh, man, why do reclusive geniuses always live so far from the highway? I am hardly noticing. The thought of meeting a real-life superhero has rendered me invincible with joy. Hello, Flegelberger, a superhero. <laughs> Clearly, those braces are the brightest things about him. Yeah, a new p you don't really think. <laughs> Johan Flegelberg is the name. Welcome to my humongous world. No way! Is that Dr. Umlaut's anti-gravity belt? It's just a prop, but it's still pretty cool, ain't it? A prop? <laughs> right. I cannot wait to see what other props you have, sir. Yes, sir. He's planning to show you guys. Why don't you take the big chair? So weak! Good gracious! Mutation Stein's actual throne of ultimate power! Oh, <laughs> that's kind of racist. Your props are certainly most authentic, sir. Is your so-called brain thinking what mine is? Uh-huh. So, who wants to see the nerve center? So, this is where you draw your totally fictitious made-up stories, right? Yes, sir. -y. Here, put yourself in the driver's seat. Wow! What happens in the next issue? Oh, uh, well, he, uh... Just one second, boys. Anoop, I think Flegelberger's an imposter. He is a superhuman posing as a comic genius and fighting galactic evil. Or not. Sorry, yeah. boys. Party's over. <laughs> what, Anoop? <laughs> Again, I must compliment you on your most excellent props, Mr. Flegelberger. Oh, lucky it's self-driving. Never learned to drive myself. Dr. Umlaut's anti-gravity belt. No, wait, Anoop, stop! You go, give me a tractor beam. Run out! That wild ride has left my circuit scrambled. Oh, Dizzy. Ha 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 ha! Whoa! Do not worry. As soon as Johan is safe, 
I shall return for you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, puny bracers, brat, before the awesome power of Hilda Crinkle. <laughs> Get away from my friend, imposters! <laughs> A forward frontside turbo twist with quadruple flip finish! <laughs> yes! Uh, listen, Anupa, I hate to tell you this, but, well, Johann Fliegelberger's not really humongous, man. Oh, please! Yes, you did not really think I believed that, did you? He could not possibly be humongous man. He is diminutive, dude. Obviously. Wow! Hugo, talk about living in a fantasy world. <laughs> Hugo? Oh, sorry I've been offline for so long. Now, what was it you asked for? Whoa! The costume of the malfunction! Sure, I'm not the most popular girl around, but I don't care, because I got my best friend Ace to hang with. We're both huge Humongous Man fans. Humongous Man is the greatest superhero ever. It's true to say that there is nothing I love more in the entire world than Humongous Man. Ah, uh, uh, how did that get there? Uh, I know what you're all thinking, but I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. <laughs> hey, uh, maybe I'm on one of those TV shows. You know, the kind where people play funny pranks on each other. I mean, it's not totally impossible. Stranger things have happened, right? 